won't be having a go at you because you licensed it to William Hill. Yeah, we certainly did. Um, and that was a, obviously we, we nearly felt a bit um, when the William Hill thing sort of came about. And, uh, you it's know, it's, synchro, isn't it? it's, it's like you say, it's a, it's a level of compromise in, uh, within, within this industry. Um, you know, I hate to say it, but bands need to make money. And uh, maybe that was the wrong way of going about it. And would we change our minds uh, given the opportunity? Probably. But, um, you know, it's, it's still on its own. And, um, you know, the things that we did, uh, you know, with that money would be, you know, we wouldn't be able to basically do, do, be, be in the position that we are today, you know, so. Um. I'd imagine that probably wasn't going through your mind when the guitars were breaking. Uh, sure, exactly, you know. And you, you arms, you know. And, you, and, you, and you're fucking scraping about for, you know, your, your, your bus money, you know. So, uh, life's tough, you know, so. Did you feel kind of ill-prepared for that? For the reaction of the William Hill? Yes. Uh, no, I think we were very aware of what we were doing and aware that, uh, you know, to some degree it was probably the wrong thing to do, but... Um, and broke up. Um, yeah, and nearly broke the band up, yeah. So. Expand, please. You can't just leave that, <laughs> well, you can't just leave that floating in the air. No, no, I mean, you know... In what way, Matt? Come on. <coughs> just, uh, we debated it for quite a while. It was what, a matter of weeks, wasn't it? Daily chats about it. Sure. Obviously, we opted for going for it, but... Um, yeah, I think... One big point behind it was preach to the converted. You know, if we're going to say that what we're saying to people who already know us, and why not try and branch out to people who would not hear that? And I know it's a very futile thing with just a song and an it for 15 seconds, but that was one of the things that swayed it anyway. So, does it mean that you may be, be you know, even more prepared now for compromise, which may inevitably come? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's uh, these sort of compromises are a big part of the music industry. When you're 18, 19 years old, you don't realise that, but you know, now uh, we're a bit more um, you know, aware of that. Uh, it's just a, a nasty, nasty part of, of the music industry and, and, and being in a band. So, uh, um, realistic, so what, what is logically and logistically going to happen? You know, you're doing this today, the next few weeks, next months, you know, other side of Christmas, Tell me what is going to happen, or tell them more importantly. We're what breaking is up. <laughs> Free Christmas, you heard it here, folks. Yeah. So. No, no, we're we're, uh, we're we're here to stay. Uh, we are. We've written the second record. It's all it's all done. It's finished. So um, that's just a matter of getting those wheels into motion. And uh, we're very excited to share it with people because obviously we've been sat on material for so long now um, that we wrote years ago, literally. Um, so it's you know, we're very excited to sort of get those wheels turning. No dates yet, or you know any uh, loose idea of, of when we'll be thinking about doing this, but we are definitely doing it. Yeah. Yeah. And um, nothing too big. <laughs> what do you what do you um, need to do between now and then? You know, because of that transition thing we were talking about. Presumably, you know, if you're stepping up, or you have to, you know not become more professional, but you know what I mean? It, what, is, what do you have to put in place to protect yourself? Yeah, start wearing suits and stuff, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Smart, yeah. And what, what, I came what, in on you when you, were, you had your kecks off before, didn't you? <laughs> you had changed. Don't know what you're on about. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do, Matty? <laughs> what, um, what, what, do you mean, what do you mean by that? Do you, do you, are you, you know, what have you got in place now in terms of you know, your management, the things that you're going to do, the things that you don't want to do, the things, you know, have you got, a, uh, got it worked out? We're going to do this, but we're not going to do that. Yeah, um, I mean, it's safe to say that we went into the Columbia with very little idea of, you know, what we wanted to be and what we wanted to do. But now we have a realistic idea of where we're at and, you know, I think we've got a very strong identity and... Uh, not just the band, but as individuals, you know, we're, 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 we've come of age, if you like, you know, so um, I think we've got a very clear idea of who we are and where we want to be, and, um, you know, so that will all be uh, taken into account when thinking about planning the second record and planning what we want that second record to do, and yes, we've got an extensive fucking team of managers and labels and agents and lawyers and all that malarkey, so uh, don't worry, it's all in safe hands. Okay, good. That's good to know, because it's, because again, you weren't thinking this, the no. King's Arms, were you? God, no. God, no. So, um, yeah, you know, this is, this is, uh, this is what we do. You know, we don't do anything else. We don't, you know, you know jobs, um, proper jobs. 
you know, this is this is this is our life, and um, we are we're very aware of that. Um, I've got a couple of uh, little extra random questions okay. that I, I scribbled down last night. Why don't you have a Wikipedia page? Why don't we have a Wikipedia page? Does someone want to write a Wikipedia page? Not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, trust me, they are. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. There you go. Why is your Twitter feed so boring? <laughs> <laughs> so we take um, an approach on social media of... of uh, uh, yeah, we'll not do it. Um, Every time I try and do something funny, it sounds like, no, no, we need to be serious. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be serious. Um, how, do, how do you say it? It's a. Uh, um, I, don't, I don't know how to say it, Matt. Like when you just want to let people know what you're doing and nothing else. Factual. But it's kind of, yeah, just informative. Yeah, we take, informative. We, we take like an informative approach on social media. So we're probably going to get some new management coming in and say, that's not the way to do it. This is the way to do it. You'll get thousands of fans. Whatever, so... Uh, it is what it is. Social media is a, a shitstorm. <laughs> well, last one. Have you got a stash of the black and white, black metal, death metal uh, makeup? And if so, uh, what are you going to do with it? My mother buys me the makeup, actually. Yeah, no, she's, just uh, you know. Oh, I'm Catherine. This is my neighbour. I'm going to cast it. She's often popped around and said, I'll get some more face paint. It's literally, it's literally just that. So this fucking... The, uh, tubs of it flying about everywhere, you know, left of <laughs> gigs, and so if you go on the, you know, the normal trail of gigs as a band, maybe you'll see in a lot of the dressing rooms there will be a pot of paint left. So. <laughs> okay, and then finally, one each. Then, if you were to direct somebody to one picture here, each of you, which picture would you direct them to, and why, Matt? The brood. The brood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. No. Probably, um, Oh, fuck knows. There's, there's one upstairs with us all. I think I'm on Castry's shoulders and it's like a bottle of champagne just after we played the Ritz, which obviously what this, this is all about. So, and there's what a fucking champagne out hitting the um, camera lens, and it's just a great shot, and it sort of encapsulates the moment of what we, how we felt in that moment. So, yeah. That's a good one. Have you one of Your favourite? I particularly like the photo of Tom uh, Lee's festival, one where he's on the speaker. Yeah. Um, yeah. Simply because what about that was sort of the festival we always went to was, you know, um, kids kind of thing, and went to like to go for the first time and to actually play on stage, etc. etc. You know, it was quite a special moment individual, so yeah, that, that shot, yeah. Um, I like that one, uh, just where me and Matt were under the lamp. Um, um, yeah. yeah, this that was. Uh, I was having a really fucking difficult time um, whilst whilst making that record, and um, you know I won't go into too much detail, but um, you know it was tough, and um, you know I'd always have one of the lads around with me, um, always got my back, so uh, that you know sort of shows that I'm pissing around on the guitar, and you know Matt's just sat there keeping me company, really. But, uh, and there's a wonderful. Uh, Give a tennis swing on. I can read that poem. Oh, yes, and there's, and there's a, a there is a wonderful poem just to the side of that. Um, that basically <laughs> describes the. Magic Garden Studio that we were recording at. So if you get a chance, read uh, read that on the wall. It's it's uh, to be honest by a guy called Evelyn Moff. Um, I think the, uh, the name of the book escapes me, but Brideshead uh, Revisited. Yeah, uh, that's it. That's the one. Toby's got it. Um, what was it again? Brides. Brideshead Revisited. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, uh, Brideshead Revisited. So, um, yeah. And if you can't be bothered reading the book, there's a TV series of the same name. Oh really? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> right. I think we've, uh, that was, uh, you've, you've answered all the questions, I've got a gazillion more, but I'm sure that everybody would like to say thank you very much to the blinders, not only for the playing, but also answering the questions and the old questions as well. The blinders! <laughs> Can I buy some stuff?